Hi everyone. So what I want to do is I want to measure the inductance on this loading coil on the BK879B LCR meter. So the first thing you want to do is to turn it on and you want to calibrate it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press and hold on the relative mode button, press and hold, puts you in this calibration mode because cal is underneath that button in black. Now it's it says that it wants to do a calibration for an open circuit and the REL is flashing so we're ready. So we press the relative mode button once and now it's open for an open circuit. For a uh, closed circuit what we need to do is we need to press and hold again on the relative mode button. Wait until the REL is blinking and the open is um, stated. Then we can use a paper clip and then put it in these slits here to close the circuit, uh, making sure this is, all, this is all clear. The paper clip now gives you a short between the, the two contacts and then you press the relative button and now you are calibrated and ready to go. Okay, uh, so you could use the leads here to measure the coil. You probably wouldn't have to calibrate it with the leads. Um, they say you, you shouldn't do that because uh, in best practice because the leads might give you just a little more, um, a different measurement. I like, I like using the leads, but in, in this case we won't for now. Okay, so this is the a loading coil for a NFED half wave or a shortened NFED half wave antenna for the 10, 20, 40 uh, meter band. This type of coil should have an approximate uh, measurement um, about 35 micro henrys. Now, this was my first attempt to at creating this coil, so it's not going to be super perfect, but good enough for this demonstration. Now that we have the uh, unit calibrated, the next thing we want to do is put it in the mode, the proper mode for measuring inductance. So here we have the LCRZ button. You press on it, and it's going to change what you measure. Here's resistance, impedance. This is inductance, L. Okay, now small coils like this, uh, which is in the less than two millihenries, we want to stay in one kilohertz on the frequency because uh, changing the Frequency will change the measurement of your uh, coil. We should be in series because apparently that's the best way of measuring these type of coils. You can always change it to parallel here if you click and hold on the on the LCRZ button, press and hold. It gives you parallel, but we don't want parallel. We want series. And that's the recommendation in the manual. And as you can see, it says H for Henry's. Cool thing about this unit is you don't need to change any dials to get to, you know, micro Henry's, milli Henry's. It should automatically do this. Now, this coil is created with magnetic wire as an enamel. So I scratched the enamel off. And so we have bare wire here. Not a lot of wire um, that is peeled off or not a lot of the enamels peeled off of the wire. So I'm going to use these slits here and I'm going to carefully put that on there. Not to slide it all the way in because then it's going to measure the enamel. As you can see, it says 32.1 micro Henry's. So that's the measurement. All right, uh, hope that was helpful. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.